Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss about product and price book. This is Salesforce out of box functionality. Products are nothing but services or item which you are selling to your client and the price book at what price you are selling that particular product. You can create multiple price book in Salesforce and you can add one product into multiple price book. For example, if you are selling mobile in different region of India. So for each region, you can create a separate price book. So let's take the example you are selling iPhone 7 in North, South, East and West in this four region. Price could be different because of taxation, because of transport cost, because of other administrative expenses. So for that, you may create separate price book. So we'll start with product first. Log in to your Salesforce developer org. When you log in, you will see product is a separate tab. Click on that products. So here, once you click, click on the product, you will see three sections, price book, product view, asset view. We are not going to discuss asset view in this video, but we'll focus only on price book and product view. So you will create new product here. You can see option to create new product. Click on that. So let's assume we are selling mobile phone. So we are selling iPhone 7. You can mark this product as active because unless it is active, you cannot add this particular product into opportunity. Once it is marked active, you can select product family. So for training purpose, I have already added value in the, this particular pick list you can see laptop mobile and tablet since this product name is iphone 7 i'll select this is from the product family mobile you can customize this pick list based on your business you can enter product description and you can click on save so once we save this record product don't forget to add this product into standard price and standard price book because unless you add this particular product into standard price book, you won't be able to add this product into opportunity. So let's say we are selling this for 70,000 rupees. Once we set up the standard price, we need to add this particular product into standard price book as well. So we'll say our standard price is 70,000. So this product has been added into standard price book. So as of now, we have only one price book. Now we'll create custom price book. So for that, if you don't see price book tab on here, tab list view, click on all tab. You will find price book as a separate tab. Click on price book. Click on new and enter some text. So let's say we are creating price book for North India. So I'm going to give North India price book name for this particular custom price book. Don't forget to check this checkbox active because unless it is activated, you cannot add this particular price book in opportunity. So when you're creating a new price book, there's an option you can clone your standard price book and you can add all those product into your custom price book or you can simply save this record and you can add individual product or services. So I'll just click save and we'll add product. So we'll search for iPhone 7 or we'll simply say iPhone. So here you go, you can see your product iPhone 7. Click on select. Now, there is an option if you want to use standard price you can check this checkbox or if you want to give some discount or if you want to set other price other than your standard price then you can enter this manually i'm saying my list price for north india is seventy one thousand because taxation or because of tab travel cost my price is going up we'll click on save now we'll go back to the product again so iPhone 7, here you can see product, 
and the related price book. So this iPhone 7 is already added in standard as well as North India price book. And you can see the price is different for standard and for North India. So we'll create opportunity. We'll create new opportunity. iPhone 7 mobile. I'm just giving this name iPhone 7 mobile. This is what is my opportunity name. And I'm expecting to close this by 31st of December. I'll select status prospecting and the probability is coming 10%. You can always change this probability. You can do that configuration from the back end between stage and probability. If you want to enter any additional detail, any description about this product, uh, oh, sorry, opportunity, you can enter that and click on save. So once you have saved this record in related list of opportunity, you will see option to add product or choose price book. So friends, if you are creating multiple custom price book, then whenever you are adding product into opportunity, or if you are adding multiple product into one opportunity, then make sure all those products are belong to same price book. You cannot have two products from two different price book. So when you click on add product, first system will ask which price book you want to refer. So we'll say I would like to go with North India price. So as of now, there is only one product, iPhone 7. You select that product, you need to enter quantity. So I'm going to sell 10 iPhone 7. And you can give expected date if you want to put some description. If you want to change this price, 71,000 is your standard price. If you want to give further discount, you can do that. But here we'll simply save this record, iPhone 7. So here now you can see opportunity amount expected revenues updated based on the product and the price book which you have selected because for iphone 7 for single quantity price sales price is seventy one thousand, and here quantity is 10 that's the reason you can see this opportunity value is updated seven lakh ten thousand or expected revenue you can say seventy one thousand how expected revenue is getting calculated it's based on the probability. So here you can see for prospecting probability just 10%. That's the reason system is considering only 10% of your total opportunity value. That is 71,000. So this is how you can create product price book and you can add that product into the opportunity. So when you're adding that uh, product into opportunity, we called opportunity line item. So that's it for today's session on price book, product and opportunity line item. Thanks for watching this video.